Hey guys, it's Forrest. I did something really crazy the other day and I want to show it to you, so let's go. I bought a home. I'm just kidding, but seriously, I bought this minivan. It was pretty spontaneous and I'm going to convert it past the conversion that's already been done on it. I've had big plans. I'm going to put a fireplace in it. I'm going to put solar. I'm going to put uh, an isolator, another battery. I'm going to make this the ultimate functional stealth minivan camper. But right now I'm going to give you a quick tour of what it's like uh, right now as I bought it. This is a Pontiac Montana. It's a six cylinder engine. So um, good on fuel if you're comparing it to obviously a motorhome or a full size van. And that's a big benefit of why people buy minivans in the first place. So this is actually pretty functional already. Um, this is how I bought it. It was already converted out. This is kind of like a storage area here. And these nice little latches. This one slides out, you put your stuff there. This slides out as a table, which is nice. You can, it supports a lot of weight. Another drawer here. And uh, if you come over here and take a look, this is where you put like your stove and then you can prop it out over there. It came with all this stuff, which is like kind of miscellaneous utensils and things, but also these dope metal uh, camping dishes. This is pretty cool too. I don't know if I'm gonna end up using this because I have some plans on how I'm gonna heat water from the wood stove and how I'm gonna have a gravity fed sink system, but this is a portable sink. So I thought that was pretty cool, even if I'm not gonna use it. So my idea for this camper van is to have, like I said, the ultimate functional stealth camper van but I don't plan on living in it. Um, right now I'm renting a place and this is for weekends and for filmmaking. So my idea really is to be able to hit the road, go get those people that are living super alternative lifestyles, um, whether it's off grid or whatever it is, this will let me access those more remote areas so I can go and talk to those people. It's, uh, the van itself is in pretty good shape all considering, uh, considering I got it for $800. It does need a new radiator eventually, but right now it's okay. Another cool couple things it has. Um, these curtains are, are definitely gonna go. I'm gonna set up, uh, this is actually gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna take all of this interior stuff out eventually. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a two, two system curtain over here. So one side will be a blackout curtain that is gonna go this way. And the other side is gonna be a roll down white curtain that will also be used for a projector screen. And a projector will be mounted up on the top with just a small screw. So it'll be a small, tiny little projector. I mean, I don't want you guys to have to use your imagination too much. So you might just wanna wait until, um, until that's actually like that. So this is a uh, slide out drawers. The system on the other side is the same. Uh, except for the other side actually has a lock so you can lock your valuables in there which is super super useful and then under here you can access some storage um, and then uh, some things definitely need to be changed on here like I don't know what these things are for um, and this I have no idea this is just stuff that's got to go I'm also going to put um, like I said, a wood stove, so the chimney's gonna come out. It's going to be tucked away behind here so people aren't going to be uh, seeing it, obviously. Well, uh, let's check out the other side. I'll show you that lock box. So, yeah, here it is. Same system. Uh, these are some Reflectix that you're just going to put up in the windows. I'm gonna redo those a little bit, um, but definitely the right idea there. Let's see if this actually works. I haven't tried this. Yeah, so the, I don't actually have the key for that, so that's unfortunate. So that's essentially the van. Also came with this nice little mattress. My plan is to make, is to cut this up a lot so that we're pretty much starting from scratch and I can kind of teach you how to make a really functional home out of a minivan. Because um, this is already converted, this is fine, but I want to make it the best it can be and show you how to do that. So right now what you'll see is, um, this is stationary. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it actually slide in and out to become a sideways couch and have all the cooking stuff on one side and then have it access to the back and be able to, it's 
make it really modular so I can take all these things off fairly easily and put a put a four foot bed back in and have it for me and Emily me and my partner so we can both go camping uh, without the kitchen set up inside so it's going to be modular um, making it more and more functional which is definitely key when you're dealing with something that's so compact you have to think about every single thing that you do every um, thing that you bring in and uh, yeah so I'm just super excited for this minivan that I just got impulse buy for sure but um, I've been wanting to do it for a while and timing and price wise this was something that I was able to do that I think anybody could really do and have something that they can have uh, as an adventure vehicle or potentially a mini mini home so thank you guys all for watching and uh, stay tuned for the build uh, lots of it will actually be on my second channel which is Forrest Stevens vlogs um, some of the bigger things and some of the tutorials like the I'm going to actually build the wood stove I know a lot of people just get sponsored and get maybe a cubic mini or something like that I'm actually gonna build a wood stove out of a propane bottle out of a 10 pound propane tank um, and that tutorial might end up on this channel it might not um, so stay tuned to both of those so that you know um, so you get all the information when they come out so uh, thank you guys